What's going on YouTube? It's been a hot minute since I've been on the Bond tubes or the YouTubes, whatever you want to call it. But today we're going to talk about why you're going to hear everyone talk about get a peat moss spreader, do peat moss for your overseed this year. Well, I'm going to tell you a different opinion from my experience last fall in 2022. This is why you probably should not use a peat moss for your overseed. So last year in the fall 2022, I did my second year of a full overseed with the Mountain View grass seed. It was a 90-10 blend of tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass. I got it at Tuckahoe Turf Farms, of course. I love going to Tuckahoe Turf Farms. They are one of the biggest side farms in my area and probably in the region as well. They supply a lot of different professional fields throughout the Northeast, uh, Fenway's one. Citizens Bank Park, Lincoln Financial Field, you name it. Obviously, I'm a big Eagles fan, go birds. But I love that Mountain View grass seed. And this year, I'm trying not to do an overseed. You're gonna hear everyone sell you, you gotta do an overseed, you gotta do an overseed. And as you can see, my lawn right here, this is mid-August right here behind me, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, there's a couple spots that I might do seeding, but I'm gonna really try and do a pre-emergent this year and cut back on that poa that I usually get hopefully in the springtime. But back to the peat moss. You're gonna see it everywhere. Peat moss, you gotta throw it down. It helps hold the moisture in the ground, things like that. And my experience, and now again guys, this is my experience. I just wanna document everyone, my experience from throwing down peat moss the last couple years. And you guys know, if you watch my channel, I love that Lansy peat moss spreader. Hands down, is by far the easiest way to put down peat moss. So if you are going to go the peat, mount, peat moss route, that's the way you want to go. This is the area last year that was a complete and utter mess from the peat moss, the water, you name it. It just, uh, I had I had to rake out the peat moss I had, and just throw down the seed. And what I did was is I got one of those weasels and I just weaseled the grass seed down into the grass. I actually had to really reseed this section twice last year. And the peat moss was just, I think it was just too much. It, it, it was holding too much moisture combined with me probably over watering somewhat. It just wasn't like, it, 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 who knows? You know, I'm just trying to show you my experience of maybe why you shouldn't always do a peat moss because it really does hold that moisture. And I noticed that from me watering so much like I was, it just, the grass seed was just not germinating as quickly as I wanted to. It was not taking off as quickly as I wanted to. And maybe go to something as opposed to a peat moss, maybe into a compost. Compost, obviously, it's something like an organic compost that you can get at a, a mulch supplier or something like that. It's, it's gonna give you organic material in your yard, a, a, a compost, but, but it's going to break down over the course of time where a peat moss, it's gonna take a very long time to break down over the course of its life. You really only need good seed to soil contact and I learned a lesson last year with that peat moss. Maybe in the future, what I would do is, is rather throwing down a peat moss, put down a compost, like I said, that could, that's gonna break down over a course of time. And you know, because peat moss actually is not the cheapest uh, option in, in the market right now. And if you're going to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and look for peat moss, it's gonna be hard to find in certain places. I usually stock, in my past, I would usually stock up on it early in the summertime. So, because I knew that fall time, just from all the hype that you see online, from the compost spreaders, the peat moss spreaders, just people saying that you need that kind of stuff, it goes especially in my area by er, like I would say mid-September that peat moss is gone and usually they're not going to get any more in for the rest of the season. So that's it for today's video guys. I just really wanted to show you that it, you don't always need what you see online or you know believe everything you see online when people say you need a peat moss to grow seed because honestly last year I never want to go through that again. I just it was so discouraging last year it just and luckily my grass has fallen it really filled in throughout the summertime and again i do have a couple spots as you could see uh, from my lawn and i think those will just fill in hopefully over the course of the fall time um, like i said i'm going to really hammer it probably with some fertilizer this fall and some pre-emergent but again maybe try something different this year and not go the peat moss route you you'd be surprised you might be able to save yourself quite a bit of money not using peat moss 
Uh, it is, like I said, it is expensive. Um, it can add up quickly. My lawn, I used almost 15 bags when I did my first fall overseed with peat moss. 15 bags of peat moss, that can really add up, guys. And, you know, maybe you could put that back in your budget. If you go to a big box store and say buy grassy from a big box store, maybe now that you don't use peat moss, add that back into your budget and use maybe like a Mountain View grass seed or something like that. You know, a Blue Tag certified grass seed for this year. I'm also going to leave link below the video that I did last year about the peat moss and you're going to see all the real time results, everything that happened in detail. There was some footage uh, in today's video from that video, but please go check out that video. I'll leave that link below. Watch it in full. And please let me know in the comment section your results, maybe from either using peat moss and having bad results or good results, using compost with good or bad results. Comment down below, because I am kind of curious. I know it's a big topic, you know, peat moss every year gets brought up in the lawn care community. So uh, let me know, comment below. And like always guys, I'm available on TikTok and Instagram. I'll leave them linked down below as well. You guys know I've been doing a lot of laser engraving. If you haven't seen my shorts on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, or anywhere there, I'm really into woodworking right now. That's always been a real big passion of mine, doing sign making. So go check out those videos as well. And if you're interested in a live stream, I do do a live stream every almost almost every Tuesday with Travis from Budget Lawns, the Budget Water Show. Go check us out. It's on his channel on Budget Lawns. We have a great time. We just don't talk about grass because there's more to life than just grass. We talk about current event topics, everyday life, what's going on in our lives and we talk to you guys as well. So go check us out every Tuesday, almost every Tuesday on the Budget Lawns channel. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one.